So, as promised, we were going to give you a definition of behavior that is a commonly accepted definition in the field. The one that we prefer to work with is Johnson and Pennypacker's definition. All right. Uh, so, here it is. The behavior of an organism is that portion of an organism's interaction with its environment that is characterized by detectable displacement in space through time of some part of the organism and that results in a measurable change in at least one aspect of the environment. There's a whole bunch of stuff layered into that definition, folks. Um, but I think one of the most important things to realize is the measurable change in at least one aspect of the environment. That's how we measure it. Remember, I already talked about private events or covert events. They're measurable in change in the environment is what it does to the organism that is detecting it. Right? They under, they've heard it, so to speak, silently. It's all covert, so that change is there. It's not reliable because we can't tell if some, no one else can observe it at the same time. But it doesn't mean it's not behavior. Um, some of the other stuff that's really important in here, um, it's an interaction. Behavior does not, is not, so to speak, it's not an attribute of the organism. It's an interaction between the organism and the environment. Okay? So those are other pieces that you really want to focus on. So behavior is much, much more complex than what we've always given it credit for. Um, and when you really start to tease it apart, you can't separate it from the environment. However, uh, the good operating definition and one that we've always talked about uh, with at, that here at PSYCHOR is just anything that the organism does. That allows you to think of it in a, in a much useful way.